Welcome to this GiftWorks quick video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the $0 donation feature that's available within GiftWorks 2010. In previous versions of GiftWorks, we required that an amount greater than zero be entered in as a donation amount. We, have, we got some feedback by a number of nonprofit organizations that indicated that to be able to track perhaps in-kind donations or goods or services better, more accurately, they wanted to be able to enter in a $0 donation. And so while we understand that there may be some um, differing opinions on how to handle $0 donations, we wanted to enable the flexibility to be able to enter a donation that has a zero as an amount for the donation and perhaps augment that with notes or descriptions that will provide additional information about what was actually given. And so I'm going to demonstrate that feature now. And so on my screen, you're going to see Gift Force 2010, and I'm using the sample database. I can click the Sign In button, which I'll be able to sign into GiftWorks. And I'm going to go to the donors dashboard. And in my donor dashboard, I can right click and click on add a donation. You'll notice that I have zero dollars in there and my next button is disabled, not allowing me to enter this zero dollar donation. So to be able to enter in zero dollar donations, um, an administrator or someone that's responsible for the decision making regarding GiftWorks will need to go to the settings area of GiftWorks, go to additional settings and tools, and click on change your organization information. Halfway down the screen, there's an option that says Allow Zero Dollar Donations. And this option will enable the, the functionality of being able to enter in zero dollar donations. So once I choose that, click on Zero Dollar Donations, I can click on Save. Now, by, entering, by allowing zero dollar donations, I do I'll give the uh, ability now to right click, add a donation, and now you'll notice I have zero dollar donation, a zero dollar value in there, and then I can click the Next button. I'm going to designate this as Goods. Click on Next. I receive immediately after I enter in this $0 donation, even though I've enabled the setting within settings to allow $0 donations, for each specific user that enters a $0 donation, GiftWorks will prompt them to confirm that they've entered in a $0 donation. This is to make sure that users are aware of the fact that they did enter a $0 donation, and they can, by leaving this checked, always, um, always require that they confirm a $0 donation. If they were to uncheck this, then they, would not conf then they would not have to confirm that they're entering a $0 donation the next time they do. So let's keep it checked for now and click on Next. I'm going to enter in this information, click on Next. I'm going to just say it's an old piano. Click on Next. Click on Next, click on Save. And so I've entered this $0 donation. If I come back to Donors and I right-click again and say Add Another, zero dollar donation. Change this to, let's say, equipment. Click on next. And you'll notice it's asking me to confirm again as long as I leave this checked. So this time I'll uncheck this. And so that from this point forward, this user will no longer be required to confirm that they're entering a zero dollar donation. Click on next. And I'm going to just say some stuff. Click on next. Next, next. And click on save. Now, that, now when I come back to my donors, and I right click and say add a donation and I enter in zero dollars and I click the next button you'll see that it does not confirm it, it skipped right over the confirmation and simply allows me to continue adding this zero dollar donation. Now when deciding to use zero dollar donations we wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of when they make that choice to use zero dollar donations it will have an effect on your donation information um, and some of your donation reporting in your historical analysis. To demonstrate that, I just wanted to show you, let's look at Joe Smith right here. Joe Smith, I've actually created a smart list in which I can show you this. The, where is it? The effect of zero dollar donations. I just have this one donor in here, Joe Smith, and I'm going to customize this to include some donation information. Things like, if I scroll down, you'll see that uh, total giving and average giving largest donation. And if I click OK, just wanted to point out a quick fact about using zero dollar donations that you should be aware of when choosing to use that. Um, you'll see, you notice the average giving currently, Joe Smith, if I double click on Joe Smith, Joe Smith has one donation for $1,000. And so the smart list information reflects that information, his total gift giving of 1000 his average giving 1000 and his largest donation is 1000 And so if I right click on Joe and click on add a donation, and if I add another $1,000 gift for Joe, Click on Next, Next, Next. Click on Save. We'll see that uh, 
we'll see that Joe's giving goes from 1000 to 2000 His average giving is still 1000 and his largest donation is $1,000. Now, if I right-click on Joe and add another donation, and add a $0 donation this time, let's say it's for some type of goods, um, bags of food, I click on Next, 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 click on Save. I'll come back to the smart list that contains this information, and I'll notice that uh, that Joe's information goes from $2,000, and his average giving is now affected by, by that $0 donation. His largest gift is still 1000 So his total giving is, ac is accurate in terms of he's given a gift of 1000 a gift of another 1000 and then a gift of 0 So it's 2000 But his average giving actually takes into account that $0. And so you must, I know with some people who choose to use $0 donations, you must make sure you're thinking of it, especially if you intend to use this information like average giving, um, or largest giving, or if you plan on doing smart lists, let's say, of people who, who haven't given a certain amount. You just need to make sure that you take into account that you're using zero dollar donations and that they may um, affect information in ways um, based on that zero dollars. And so, as you consider using zero dollar donations, um, we trust that it will help you track and um, understand your donor giving and your contributions better. And we also just want to make sure that you understand the effect that having zero dollar donations entered into GiftWorks can have on your information. And so we trust that uh, throughout all of your usage of GiftWorks, that uh, even zero dollar donations can help you um, better track your information. And, and in some small way, once again, that GiftWorks can help you accomplish your mission. So thanks for watching this video, and we wish you the best.